Tom's Georgia Night in Smith County, there are right now 320 children in foster care and only about 140 foster families to take them in. KETK's Tori Bean is here with more about our state's foster care crisis and how agencies are working to help these children find a home for the holidays. Tori. Casey Neal, the COVID-19 lockdown really hurt the fostering system. Caseworkers were no longer allowed in homes, allowing cases of abuse and neglect to go unseen and unreported. The pandemic caused basic services and supports for children and foster families to be suspended for months. The children in care went up uh, very quickly. And so like in Smith County, Pretty quickly, we went from about 250 children in foster care up to about 320. So it was a drastic increase. With more kids in the system and less families fostering, East Texas is now in a fostering crisis. With a current increase of kids, less funding in limited homes, about 350 Texas children a day are having to sleep in offices or hotels because there's no foster family for them. It doesn't matter. Mom is mom and dad is dad, and it doesn't matter what they've done. These children love them unconditionally and faithfully, and they want to be with mom and dad. And imagine a holiday where you can't be with your family. Part of a system trying to find a place of their own in time for the holidays. A lot of them don't even know. They've never had Christmas. They've never gotten gifts. They've never put a tree up or had stockings hanging by the, you know, the fireplace. They've probably never had a fireplace in their homes. Um, so that in itself is, is heartbreaking. The director also tells us most of the children long for their biological parents. Many are misunderstood, often labeled as troubled as they get bounced around from home to home. There is a huge need for families that can take in children to keep them in a home setting. There is a huge need for families that are experienced foster families to step up and be willing to take in maybe teenagers that are, that are harder. The Fostering Collective of East Texas works to help these children find a home and hopefully in time to be able to experience a real Christmas with a family of their own. In studio, Tori Bean, KETK News.